NBC News has confirmed that the FBI has interviewed several of Hillary Clinton's top aides in the investigation into her private email account, including her close confidant, Huma Abedin. And tonight, in his first American television interview, the Romanian hacker known as Guccifer, who was the first to reveal that Clinton was using a private email address while she was Secretary of State, makes alarming new charges. Senior investigative correspondent Cynthia McFadden went to a Romanian prison to interview him. When Hillary Clinton says that her server is absolutely safe, you're laughing. That's a lie. That's a lie. Yes? Yes. It's not safe. It's not safe at all. His name is Marcel Lahel Lazar. He's better known as Guccifer. Since we talked to him, he's been extradited to the U.S. to face a variety of hacking crimes against American political figures, including Clinton confidant Sidney Blumenthal. You hacked your way into the Bush family emails. You hacked your way into Colin Powell's emails. You uncovered that Hillary Clinton was using a private email. Why? Much more. Sure. And many more. Yes. But it's his Very new close. claims that are truly explosive. Guccifer says he got into Clinton's private server itself. By running a scan, I found that server was completely unsecured. I want to make sure I'm understanding what you're saying. Yes. You're saying the Clinton server was unprotected. No, 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 no. Yes. And you had total access to it had you wanted to download it. Yes, it was like an open orchid on the Internet, as many such servers are. Welcome, Madam Secretary. Thank you. Just this week, Hillary Clinton told Andrea Mitchell on MSNBC the private server which she used as Secretary of State was safe. Any indication that your private server was hacked by foreign hackers? No, not at all. Clinton campaign spokesman Brian Fallon slams these new allegations. There is absolutely no basis to believe the claims made by this criminal from his prison cell. In addition to the fact he offers no proof to support his claims, his descriptions of Secretary Clinton's server are inaccurate. It is unfathomable that he would have gained access to her emails and not leak them the way he did to his other victims. We asked several cybersecurity experts to review how Lazar claims to have gotten into Clinton's server. All concluded it was possible. Among them, former FBI cybercrime expert Chris Tarbell, who led the successful prosecution of the criminals behind the online black market called Silk Road. He cautions that hackers like Guccifer are notorious liars, but still, he says, he takes these allegations seriously. It's plausible because he did get access to emails that allegedly came from that server. Each email has a header, and that tells you the information and the path of where that email came from. And if he's lying... That seems silly to me. To go on television and admit to a felony you didn't commit seems a little silly. A source with knowledge of the investigation tells NBC the FBI review of the Clinton server logs did in fact show no evidence of hacking. But Tarbell says server logs are not necessarily comprehensive. So it may be that there is no breach that was recorded. That doesn't mean there was no breach. Correct. A source close to the investigation tells us the FBI escorted Guccifer to the U.S. and spoke to him in transit. Though tonight, several officials emphasize investigators have seen nothing yet that substantiates his claim. The investigation continues. All Esther? right, Cynthia, thanks very much.